So the power of decisions that I just explained to you, it is one of a series of distinctions in what I'm calling the ordinary model of thinking. What I really want to show you is the powerful model of thinking. But the ordinary model of thinking looks something like this. There's an area of our life where we feel stuck or where we want to create, but we've been stressed and anxious and overwhelmed, which means we have an inner conflict going on, okay? It means there's a limiting belief that's behind everything we're trying to accomplish. So most people have made a decision that's not only not congruent with what they want to create, it's actually in direct opposition. And it puts them in a very low energy state. Because as we're operating against ourselves, we're in low energy. We're dissipating all of our energy on those emotions that we don't enjoy feeling. Yes? Okay. So then we move on to the second level. And what the brain does in low energy is what it's designed to do. Its function is to find problems. So we've made an unconscious decision that's completely counterposition to what we want to accomplish in life. And now the brain focuses on problems which sustains this low level of energy, which is why we're all tired and burned out. At the third level, clarity, we have very little of it because clarity requires energy. You think about wearing some spectacles, right? And you have to rub them off. It requires energy to get clarity about what you want, where you're going in your life. And in the ordinary model, we don't have it. At that point in time, when the brain, which is basically going on a field trip in you, sees that you've unconsciously made decisions that are against your best interests, you, uh, you're focused on problems and you have no clarity, it starts to spin off questions like, why does this always happen to me? How come I can never figure it out? How come it happens for those people but it never happens to me? What is it that I'm doing wrong? Now the challenge is your brain is a search engine and the query is the question. So you've got this extraordinary technology that, by the way, can search your entire personal history and arguably intelligence everywhere to ask and what? Receive. But we end up asking really crappy questions in a low energy state. At that point, we move into fear. We move some form of it, fear, frustration, anxiety, overwhelm, worry, anger. And from there is where most of us decide to take action. So we end up doing lots of stuff out of a foundation of fear and low energy and not getting the results that we want. I call it a reaction plan. Now, this is what the most successful people in the world do. What the most successful people in the world do is they go within first. They say, I want to accomplish this thing, but what is it that's inside of me that's resisting it? What have I unconsciously decided that's not congruent with what I actually want to create in the world? They identify it, and they've given themselves permission to make new what? Decisions. So they make new decisions about life. Now they've unlocked all the energy with inside of themselves. Because I'm operating according to this decision that I'm going to take my business to eight figures this year. I'm going to impact the lives of millions of people over the next 10 years. I'm going to speak 12 times this year. I'm going to have a successful product launch. Money is easy for me to make. Money flows to me from all kinds of different places and different directions. My relationship is amazing, and it's going to keep getting better and better and better. This is what I claim for my life. How does that feel? Amazing, right? It's energy. Now we move up to this next level, and now we have the energy when the brain tries to do what it does to override it and say, no, listen, I know there are no problems. In everything that happens, there's a gift and a blessing. And we find the gratitude. We focus on the opportunity, and we sustain this level of energy. From there, we have absolute clarity. We know who we are. We know what we believe. We know what we're setting out to accomplish, and we're alert. And we can ask very key strategic questions. Who are the three people I need to reach out to this week that can create the biggest impact on my business? Then receive. What events do I need to attend this year to meet just the right person to grow my coaching business to six figures? You may not get an answer right away. Be a little bit patient. You'll get a response. So we use questions now for what they're designed for in this high state of energy, and we move forward into life with confidence. And at that point in time, you're taking action. Do you know people where you look at them, you're like, I can't figure out what they're doing. It seems like they're not even doing that much, but they're so successful. This is the model. Am I still making sense? Great. So if I'm you, my question now is, what do I need to do? to shift my mindset? How do I identify all of my unconscious beliefs or the decisions that I've made that aren't congruent with what I want to create in the world? And then what are the mental habits or the practices that I need to start developing in order to hack my mind and rewire my brain and absolutely transform my life? Is that a logical next question? Okay. So there is an answer. 